Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s, and today I'm going to talk about something a little different. I'm going to talk about hair extensions today, and I'm going to show you guys how I put mine in, and I'm going to talk to you guys about several different pair that I have, and I've got some what they're called ready hair extensions, which are like ponytail type hair extensions, and then I have just some clip-in actual hair extensions as well and I'm going to talk about all of them and then I'll show you what, how I wear my favorite pair and the reason why I want to do this is because when you get my age some people a lot of people not everybody but a lot of people when you get to be a little bit older your hair starts really thinning and my hair is so thin and it falls out like crazy I actually did a video about my hair which I will link down below but it's so thin, it falls out like crazy. When I shower, I just get tons and tons of hair in the shower, it just comes out in clumps. And sometimes when I am wanting to go out and I'm wanting to, you know, just kind of glam up or something for the night, I like, I like to wear hair extensions. And when you have really, really thin hair, now I don't wear these all the time because it's not good to wear them all the time, especially if you have thin hair, and I'll get into that later. But when I wear my hair extensions, I don't want to have to worry about are they going to stay in. So with really, really thin hair like this, when you put clip-in extensions in, they just kind of slide right out. So us really thin-haired or losing-haired girls don't have the luxury of being able to take clip-in extensions and just clip them in and they look and stay. And you don't have to worry about them. But I have a way that I actually put them in where I can make them fuss free and I don't have to worry about them through the entire night. I've had instances where I have worn, worn my clip-ins and before I really figured out how to apply them, I was halfway through the evening running to the bathroom and reattaching because I could, I literally, I'd put my hand up there and I would feel them slipping out. So I'd have to run to the bathroom and reattach. So the more I played around with them, the better I got with them and I figured out how to keep them in my hair without them slipping out. And there's a couple of different methods and there's a couple of different types of hair extensions I'm going to talk about because that does make a difference when keeping extensions in your hair is the type that you use, the type of clips that is on them, and I'm going to get into all of that. So I'm going to start with the little ponytail or the ready-made extensions. I've got a synthetic one here that I picked up. This is from Sally's. I've had this about 10 years. It is synthetic, so you guys can actually tell it's kind of, I need to back up a little bit. It's kind of frayed a little bit because I've had it for so long. But this is one, it's called a drawstring pony. It has a little drawstring thing right here. And then it's got combs. So there's a comb here and a comb here. And basically the way this one is applied is you put your hair into a ponytail. Let me get a little ponytail here and I'll just do a quick little show you guys. Alright, so you take your hair, you put it in a ponytail, and I did wear this last Halloween, and I will put a picture up so you guys can see what it looked like when I wore it with my costume. It's not going to be the best ponytail in the world, this is just going to be a quick little example of what these look like when applied, or put in, applied. So what I do is I do like a little bun type pony, just like that. Just kind of let it hang. And you have your little band right here. So then what I do is I take the comb right there and I'll position the comb. Well, I'll put the little cup thing, the netting. I see the netting and the comb. I'll put the netting over the little ponytail thing and then I will put the comb between my head and the ponytail holder. Okay, once you have your ponytail inside the netting, you take the bottom comb and you push it up the underside of the ponytail into your hair. And then you take the drawstring, which is right here, and you pull tight. And then you can take this guy and just kind of lock the drawstring into place and the drawstring is always going to be the color of the hair so you don't have to worry about the drawstring actually showing it just it looks like hair and there you go that is 
the little pony and it's not the best job because I try to do it just kind of really quickly but it's cute and this lasts in my hair all night long I don't have any issues with it coming out just as long as you get the comb placement right and you get the um, drawstring pulled you're good and you'll see here's my drawstring but you don't actually really see it in my hair because it mixes in with the hair and it just looks like it's hair because it's the same color so you don't really see it and if you are really self-conscious about it you can hide it and just kind of bring it around to the other side and then just kind of tuck it up under if you're really self-conscious about it so there we go all right I'm going to take this guy out it's very easy you just release the drawstring now this one like I said it's really heavy so I don't wear it that long. I might wear it, like I said, over like for a costume or I might, if I wear it out for a night, I won't wear it more for then, I don't know, a few hours because it does pull on my hair and it does tend to get very uncomfortable and you don't want something, especially if you're thin and thinning, you don't want something pulling on your hair all the time because it's just going to make it worse. It's going to make your hair thin worse. Oh, look at my hair now. Okay, I do have another ponytail one that I've had probably 20 years now and back in the day I used to have a lot of red in my hair I used to do what was called the matrix red lights so I had an extension piece that had a lot of red streaks in it and this is a pony as well but this one I didn't wear out in real life I only wore this one for costume purposes and this is also synthetic and it's really tattered. You guys can see how tattered that is. I can't even get a brush through that. I mean, it is so old and so tattered. I don't even wear it anymore. But it has the comb that you put in over your ponytail. This one does not have a drawstring, so you really have to, um, if you're uncomfortable with the comb on it, you really have to pin it down. But it was really cute with the braid. It was it was adorable. And I have, I'll, I'm going to insert a picture of me wearing this. I'm not going to show you guys putting this one on because it's just, it's ugly and tattered, but I will insert a picture. All right, so now let's get into the extensions that you guys really want to see. All right, extensions, like I said, are very, very important. Um, the type that you pick, the style is important, the weight is important, especially if you have thin hair, because if you're going to wear extensions all day long, those clips are going to pull on your hair, your hair is going to fall out. So you really want to be careful how long you wear them also, and you want to stay away from ones that are too heavy, because they will also pull on your hair and cause your hair to fall out, and plus it will make them easier to slip out. So I have got several, not several, three different styles here. One is synthetic to our real Remy human hair. All right, so these are my synthetic ones, and these are one, two, three, four, five, it looks like six wefts of hair. So let me show you guys the biggest weft. And these, um, I don't remember the brand of these, and the brand doesn't really matter, I guess. I, I got them at Beauty Co. like years ago and this synthetic because beauty is not open anymore but this synthetic hair is actually heat resistant so you can use a curling iron or a straightener or whatever you want to up to 400 degrees on this hair without melting it the thing about this hair though is while you're wearing it because it is synthetic it knots up very easily and it's very hot it does get very hot when you wear it but the main thing I want to show you guys about um, keeping extensions in your hair are these clips. Let me get a little closer here. Do you guys see those clips and how long the teeth are on those clips? Those are like really long, long, long teeth. You want to make sure that you, when you get extensions that the teeth on the clips are very, very long. See how they just kind of pull down? That's very, very important when you get extensions. So, like I said, these are the um, synthetics, and they do look very, very, very nice when put in. But after wearing them for a while and you start getting hot, because these do get hot, and you do sweat in them, they get very tangly because they are synthetic. Okay, so, but they are very, very pretty when applied. These are 
I believe these are the 18 inches. And the synthetic ones are very inexpensive. I think I got these for, at the time, $25. They're pretty inexpensive. All right. So the synthetic pair was like my first run with hair extensions ever. So because these got really, really hot and just kind of tathered up when it got like heat, not, how do I explain it? When you get sweaty and a little bit of moisture mixed with the heat gets, you know, in the, in that hair, it kind of tathers up and it just, it looks unnatural. So I decided I wanted real human hair. So I went to Sally's and at Sally's, I picked up some real human hair and these are also 18 inch. I don't remember the grams. I'm thinking these are 165 grams maybe. All right, so these are the Euronext ones. And these feel nice. You can brush them, you can style them, you can wash them, you can do whatever you want. They don't tether up because they are um, real, 100% real human hair. And again, they're the Euronext from Sally's Beauty Supply. However, I had issues keeping these in my head. I could not keep these in my hair to save my life because, let me show you guys the clips here. Look at these clips. Do you guys see? Here we go. Do you see how the clip is not like teeth? It's like little round pieces there um, and they're short. See how short they are? So my thin hair didn't get caught up in them enough to keep them in my head. So they just slid right out. I could like rat my hair, just back comb it next to my scalp and those things would still slip right out because of those teeth. So looking for a pair with good teeth is very important. So what I did was, I didn't like these. So I went online and I found another pair that online looked like they were gonna be okay. But again, when I got them, and I don't remember what brand this was. I got it from like besthairbuy.com or something. When I got them, and they are 100% real human hair, they had the same teeth but in silver. And I'm thinking silver teeth my, on black hair? That's kind of uncool. But I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna spend any more money on hair because I can't find the clips I like. Why can't I find the clips that came on the synthetic hair? Why can't I find those same clips on the human hair? That's what I wanted. So I went to Sally's and bought some snap clips. These guys right here. And if you look at these, they have the long teeth on them. Okay, so I bought some snap clips, I bought some thread. So I took one of the silver ones and I sewed my own clip onto it. You guys can see that's my own sew job because the um, threading on here is not done well at all. It is so bad. But I sewed my own teeth on it. This was a very, very long, tedious process. I did it to about oh, four or five of the single clips and decided, no, no more, not doing this anymore. So when I got to the last, when I got to like the fourth or fifth one, I didn't even sew the thing on it. I just left it off of there because I was like, no way. It's just too much work. And I just don't have the patience to do it. So I thought to myself, why can I not find the long tooth clips on human hair? Why am I only finding it on synthetic hair? I didn't like the way the synthetic hair looked after wearing it for a few hours. So I searched online and I searched and I searched. I went to every single hair extension website that I could find. I went to every single picture of extensions that I could find, looking at just what the clips look like and I finally found some. And these don't actually have a name to them. I found them at shophairwigs.com. These are like 80 grams, so they're not very heavy at all. These ran me maybe $99, I think. And I, when I saw them and I saw that they had the longer teeth clips, I was so excited and I jumped on it and I bought them. So these have the same clips as the synthetic, the long teeth but on human hair. This is Remy hair, which means it will heat style. It won't tether up if you get a little bit hot and sweaty throughout the night. 
and these have been great little extensions. I've had these probably about six years and I have worn them quite a bit because they're they're good. Now they are 80 grams so they're not quite as heavy as the rest of the ones out there because a lot of them are 100 grams, a lot of them are um, 200 grams, 180 grams. These are 18 inch and I believe these are 80 grams. So they're a little less than your standard weight. I couldn't think of the word. Okay, so I want to show you guys how I apply these to my hair to make them no fuss, no muss. And they stay in all night. They're not uncomfortable. But again, like I said, you don't want to wear extensions all the time because when you have very thin hair and it's falling out, wearing extensions all the time is going to make your hair fall out worse because it's already weak to begin with. I'm going to apply these extensions and the reason why I, I wear them anymore now is just to give my hair a little more fullness. I'm going to show you how I do it. And I use two things, actually three things, to apply my extensions. Let me find them. Of course I have a comb. You got to have a clip to get your hair out of the way. And I use this stuff from Big Sexy Hair. It's called Powder Play. This guy right here. And what this is, is this is a powder texturizing, it's like a volumizing texturizing powder and it makes your hair just a little bit tacky. So I'll put this on the roots and then I'll back comb it in a little bit and these stick right in. So let me show you guys. I'm going to start by, I'm going to just section my hair right by my ears here. I'm going to go straight back. Now my parts guys are not going to be perfectly even. I'm going to do the best I can but they are not going to be perfect, so I'm trying to do this kind of quick. Alright, so I'm going to take this and pull it up. Just kind of clip it in place here. And this is essentially, hope oh, my chair is not in the way. This is essentially what I've got here. And like I said, my part's not exactly even, but that's okay. I'm going to take some of my powder play. And it is very powdery. It is very white, so if you have black hair, you kind of want to be careful with it. And I'm going to actually put it in my hand, like that. And I'm going to take it and just kind of run it along the part area where the roots are. Now, you guys could use hairspray for this if you wanted to, or maybe a spray gel. I find this stuff to be really sticky, which is why I really like it. So I've got it there. My hair is like really sticky right there now. My fingers are kind of sticky. So then what I do is I'm going to just wrap right there by the root. Can you guys see how I'm doing this here? Just rat, rat, rat. I'm not pulling, I'm just ratting to give the clips a place to stick. All right, then I'm going to take, that's a three left, let me see, I don't remember if I do my three weft here, I think I do, yes I do. All right, so this is my three weft, or not my three weft, this is my um, three clip right here, and that I'm going to put it right on that part, the bottom side of that section. So I'm going to start with the middle piece here, I'm going to find the middle of that section, and I'm going to clip, then I'm going to come over to the side and clip, and come over to this side, and clip, like so. Okay, so there's the first piece. Alright, next piece. So now I'm going to take little higher up, a section just a little higher up here, almost to the crown, but not quite the crown. And I'm going to pin this guy up, and then I'm going to take my longer piece. And where are you at? Okay, here's, so here's my longer piece. It's also three clips, but it is like wider than the other piece. So again, I'm going to take my powder play in my hand and I'm going to put it where the part is. Okay. 
Now if you have blonde hair, you can get away with just putting this directly, just sprinkling it directly on your hair, but because my hair is black, I don't want to do that because it will leave white traces in my hair. Alright, so I got that. I'm going to take my comb, rat it out. Hope you guys can see this okay. And I mean, technically, you really only need to rat, rat it where the uh, clips are going, but I just rat the whole part here because I never can get the clips straight, if that makes sense. Okay, longest piece. And just like before, I'm going to start with the middle clip first. Middle clip goes in first. And then side clip. And side clip. Okay, so there we have the second weft. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit on the crown. So I'm just going to go, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to pull this guy up, and again, I mean, the parts aren't perfect. Powder play. Part pieces. Okay. Now I'm gonna back comb this part. guys can still see it okay. I can't really see myself so it's kind of difficult right now. Oops, I think I missed some here. Alright, then I'm going to take this little two left clip here, or the two clipped left, sorry. I'm going to take this little two clipped left and I'm going to go right here and right here. Okay, so the third piece. And now let's take the clips completely down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my sides. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. And this way, this one I can do actually facing you. And because I can see, I can sprinkle the powder play right on where I need it. And right away. And I have this smaller little two clip left here. And I'm going to go right there. And right there. And next side. It is very hot in my room right now. A little bit of powder play. Back comb.
and a small two clip weft. Then I'm going to clip and clip. Don't mind the gray hair. All right, and here is the finished extensions. So, I mean, I'm not going to style them today because this video is not about styling extensions. It's just about putting them in. So, you can see, actually you can't see the clips which is good, but this is it. And I didn't even use all the wefts. I still have one two clip weft left. So I did one, two, three, four, five wefts. And this is what I got. Okay. And so now I can style it, I can curl it because it's human hair. It's not going to melt it. I can brush through it. As you guys see, it's brushing through and it's not coming out. It's not slipping out. A lot of times what I do is because my hair, my natural hair is also black, uh, like this right here is my natural hair. With black hair, it just kind of blends in and you don't really see it, which is nice. So, I mean, I wouldn't have to curl it or anything if I didn't want to, but I probably would just put a little body wave or something in it, little beach waves or something. But, yeah. One more time. Again, this is it. And I can go all night, fuss free, not have to worry about any of my clips showing, not have to worry about any of my clips falling out, and it stays. I have no issues with these clips with this application of my extensions. It's great. Alright guys, um, let me know if you guys want to see a video of how I style them. Um, I just pretty much curl them, but if you guys want to see me do that, let me know. I'd be happy to put a video up showing you guys how I style my extensions. Just leave a comment down below if you'd like to see. Alright guys, I hope this video was informative. If you guys have been looking at buying extensions for yourself and you're like me and you have very thinning, falling out hair, please take these things into consideration, okay? the clips, the size of the teeth on the clips, the weight of the hair, how long you're going to be wearing it, and use either a really good sticky hairspray or good powder play powder to really backcomb where you're going to be putting the clips in and that's what's going to keep those clips from budging all night. So, like I said, I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You guys can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. Also, guys, if you want to be notified of videos that I have posted, go ahead and hit the bell down there as well. And down there also is a subscribe button. If you hit that, you too can rock your Fabulous 40s. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.